Well, welcome to Bolfast Talk Straight. After a, a fascinating day in Mumbai at the Wankhede Stadium, where we lost the first hour, or oh, first two hours of play, um, and there was only 78 overs uh, possible, of which we only got 70 in. The toss was won by India, and a few surprises, um, a few injuries. It just seems as though you know, India don't want to have the hard call of uh, dropping some of their big-name players. It just seems as though they've just decided that they're going to be injured so they haven't go. So, obviously, Kohli comes back in. Uh, Yadav comes in uh, along with, I can't remember who the other one was, um, uh, Siraj, Mohamed Siraj, who probably should have played in in Kampur, in my opinion, for, obviously, Ishan Sharma, Ajinkya Rahani, and an injured Ravinder Jadeja. A uh, massive call, massive blow for, a big call for India to win the toss, but a massive blow that it was Tom Latham there for New Zealand and not um, not Kim Williamson. So that was that's a huge blow for for New Zealand as well as possibly the Sunrisers of Hyderabad because I know Kim Williamson has been retained by the Sunrisers, having a tennis elbow and really really struggling with that injury. He could be out for for quite some time, and I know Kim Williamson's been on the road since probably March time. He could do with a, a body reset and a little bit of a break. So we'll have to watch that space and watch that space uh, closely if you're a Sunrisers fan. When it comes down to the teams, yeah, I think both teams were looking at the, the surface, thinking we're going to go and play three spinners. I can't believe New Zealand didn't play Neil Wagner. I really can't. I thought they made a mistake in Kampur. But on this surface, a little bit more pace in it. I thought yeah, they've got to go with Neil Wagner in this. They didn't. Um, and they might rue the fact that they didn't have Neil Wagner because you know, India started very, very well. Mike Agnawal, who had been given a chance, another player that's been given a chance with the injuries that and the rest and that, that in, in India have, have had from the, the bubble situations in, in recent times and given their big, some of their bigger players a little bit of time off. Um, Agnawal was the one that benefited the most in day one of, of Mumbai. You know, Surashaya was a superstar at, you know, Green Park, Kampur. He's going to put pressure on some of the older brigade in the middle order. But Agarwal, I thought, was fantastic. Along with Shubman Gill, opened the baton, went hard at the ball. As soon as the spinners came on, I thought they were very watchful early on against Tim Southey. I thought Kyle Jameson didn't hit his straps as much as he did up at, at Kampur. But his second spell was a lot better than his first spell. But all in all... It was a good start by India, 80 for none. Then all of a sudden, they had a little bit of a brainwave. I, 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 you know, making it all the time as a cricketer, you'll see you know, one brings two, two and puts teams under pressure. And all of a sudden, India have gone from 80 for none to 80 for three very, very quickly. Shubman Gill tentatively pushed one outside off stump to um, Ijaz Patel, good catch by Ross Taylor. And then all of a sudden, I'm not sure what Prajara was doing, whether it was pressure. He's seen the you know, Agarwal and Shubman Gill come down the wicket to Patel and hit him over the top. But he was all at sea, nowhere near. G. Paul's got a question. Is it safe to say now Pajara won't be travelling to South Africa next week? G. Paul, you might have a point. You might have a point. This decision not to play or, or injury not to play Ajinkya Rahane might actually work in Rahane's favour over Pajara because, you know, he only faced, what, five balls, but he looked all at sea for them five balls. Um, and then he's just run past this uh, straight-ish delivery. So from that point of view, when you are under pressure, sometimes your brain gets scrambled, even great players. And I think Rahani has been, a, I mean, Pajara has been a very, very good player, player for India. I just think this might be his final innings and his final bow for for India, and he might just miss out on selection going to South Africa. I would like these, his experience in South Africa, but unfortunately, I think he might just miss out now. And Ajinki Rahani might be just a better player for not actually playing this this Test match. And then Suresh Iyer came in and carried on from where he left off. I thought he batted beautifully again for 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 eighteen. He got got behind the ball. He hit the ball nicely, and then another one. It was a little bit of a team ending. Just just pushed that one 
possibly a little bit off balance, just pushed that one inside edge onto pad and the wiki keeper caught it. You know, I was just a little bit slow and short leg wouldn't have gotten it. So all in all, it's been a frustrating day for for India. Um, but the big, I think the big call was the one of, of, of Virat Kohli. Did it hit the pad? Did it hit the bat? Well, it's one of them ones I can understand now why it was out. I, I said live on commentary for Talk Sport 2 that he had it was out. He had to be given out for the simple fact that I didn't think it was not so much I thought it was out. It was just you could not prove that it was it wasn't bat pad together, then the big ins with the inside edge back onto onto the pad. I think once the umpires met his call, I thought it was very difficult for the DRS umpire, the third umpire in the sky, to say, well, that was definitive bang, inside edge, onto pad. I thought the bat and pad, the ball were very, very close together. The spike was close together. Could you see definitively that it was definitely bat, then pad, or it was pad, bat, pad? I think all that, as soon as you looked at it 10 times, you have to go with what the decision was made on the field. The decision on the field was out. So unfortunately for Virat Kohli, he was given and he had to walk off. So... All in all, it's been a frustrating day for the Indian captain, um, for the supporters, because I haven't had a full day as, day as player. But Mayank Agarwal will be proud of what he's achieved in the first, first day of this first test match. Crucial tomorrow morning, New Zealand get the ball in the right area, make an early in row before that second new ball, and make that second new ball count to stay in this game. If they don't, then India could rack up a score. That may be just too far out of the way. So... We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a review, and we'll see you then.